51. Okay, thank you. All right, Mr. Spence, good afternoon. You're here on a um, matter, looks like an extradition matter. Looks like you're wanted from another state. Also, you're charged with uh, misdemeanor gun or weapon on educational property. That carries a maximum sentence of 120 days. Also, a misdemeanor go armed to the terror of people. That carries a maximum sentence of 120 days as well. Um, attempted first degree murder. It looks like two counts of that. Um, both of those carry a maximum sentence of life without parole. Possession of a stolen motor vehicle carries a maximum sentence of 39 months in prison. Resisting a public officer carries a maximum sentence of 60 days. And second degree trespass carries a maximum sentence of 20 days. Um, please keep in mind any statement you make can be used against you, sir. We'll talk about appointing counsel in just a few moments. But again, anything you say can be used against you. Mr. D.A. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Spence has a couple of different court dates coming up. Okay. Uh, number 46, the first matter, the extradition or fugitive warrant. Uh, that is going to be December 13th. That's next Thursday, courtroom 1C at 8.30 in the morning. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, that is from Virginia Beach City, Virginia. Okay. Uh, the fugitive warrant is aggravated assault, strangle another, causing wounding or injury. Okay. That bond is currently set at one million dollars. Okay. Now, uh, the date of offense on your on that particular case is yesterday, Your Honor. The fugitive warrant. Okay. Uh, it is related. Uh, it is related uh, to the possession of stolen motor vehicle, the felony charge. All of the remaining felonies will be set for February 5th, 25, courtroom 2C, 2019. Uh, Your Honor, the possession of the stolen motor vehicle uh, is the person he is alleged to have assaulted via strangulation or other. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, this is alleged to have occurred uh, yesterday at Smith High School, and the court will see that there are multiple charges that stem from this, this incident. The gun on the educational property and going armed to the terror of people, that is 500,000 secured. Okay. Resist a public officer of second degree trespass uh, is encompassed in that 500,000 secured. Okay. Uh, running away from the school resource officer. Uh, Your Honor, the trespass comes from being on the premises of the school. Finally, you'll see two charges of attempt first degree murder. Yes, sir. Uh, those bonds are split. First, file ending 89503. That is a $2 million secured bond. $2 million secured. Oh, yeah, stop, stop, stop. And to have no contact, direct or indirect, with any or all prosecuting witnesses. File ending in 89496. That is a domestic hold. Your Honor, uh, same transaction. Also, to have no contact, direct or indirect, with any or and all prosecuting witnesses on this charge. Your Honor, if a bond is even allowed, Your Honor, right now, Aggregate total is 3.5 million. No bond has been set on the domestic first attempt at first degree murder. If a bond is even allowed, this, this man is clearly a threat to our community. The state would ask if it is within this court's power that no bond be allowed. However, if it is required by law, that it be more than 3.5 million because there's no bond yet set on the domestic. After these bonds were set, Your Honor, do you have any questions was asked of this person? 
If I may, Your Honor, the types of questions he asked are clear that this person needs a mental health evaluation. Also, it's clear that he is a danger to any community he's in. The questions were along the lines of, were those two people there? Second question, do they know it was me that was coming? The third question, has the news picked up this story yet? I have the magistrate here, should the court have any questions uh, for a factual basis as to his uh, disposition yesterday okay. while his bonds are being set. Also, I have the detective here for a factual basis, a factual basis uh, that he could give in more detail that I can. Okay, thank you. Let me hear from the detective. Yes. Good afternoon, Detective. Good afternoon, Your Honor. All right, yes, sir. My name is Detective Hartley with the Greensboro Police Department. Um, call was received yesterday about 12.40 p.m. from communications from the school resource officer alerting personnel that there was a man armed with a gun in the school cafeteria. Um, I'll back up from that point for a minute. Um, Mr. Spence was seen entering into the B building of Smith High School which has the gymnasium and the cafeteria. Um, it should be noted that it was lunchtime at this present moment. Um, Mr. Spence was seen by a staff member walking into the building. The staff member followed him um, into the cafeteria. When the staff member approached Mr. Spence in the cafeteria, once again, Your Honor, the cafeteria had students in there eating lunch. Um, the staff member approached Mr. Spence and asked him if he could help him. At that point, Mr. Spence raised his shirt brandishing a firearm, which was in his waistband, um, and demanded to see, to be noted that there are employees there at the high school. Um, he, staff member, continued to talk to him for a few minutes when another staff member approached Mr. Spence. Mr. Spence then pulled the firearm out of his waistband uh, to the cafeteria that was full of students at the time. They were able to evacuate the school, I mean, the cafeteria, <clears throat> and call the school resource officer. When the school resource officer was approaching the building, Mr. Spence was seen leaving the building with a handgun in each hand. He gave flight to Mr. Spence, to which he was apprehended. Mr. Spence, we found out through investigation, subsequently was wanted out of the state of Virginia, out of Virginia Beach, for assaulting was, from our understanding, from talking to the detectives up there, was brutally assaulted. Um, they weren't sure she was going to make it, however, she has multiple injuries that were going to require further medical attention. Um, he's wanted for multiple charges out of that jurisdiction as well, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. All right. Sir, what is your name? I'm sorry, Keith? Yes. What's your last name, sir? Brandon. And Mr. Brandon, what is your relationship to Mr. Spence? I'm his uncle. You're his uncle? Yes. All right. Without discussing the allegations at this point, there are allegations against Mr. Spence. Is there anything that you want to say about um, his bond, his court date, or the appointment of an attorney?
But man, he graduated from college. He uh, graduated from East Carolina. He, he was doing acid. I, I don't know what happened. I mean, I don't know what happened. Um, I got a family who have a history of mental illness. Uh, his uncle, not, not his old uncle, uh, other uncle, he's, you know, have a history of you know, mental illness that he had, you know, lost his mind when he uh, was in his 20s. Uh, that's all I have to say, young uh, Okay. With, uh, no criminal past, no rock whatsoever. We can prove he's not that minister to society. Uh, I feel that that three point five million is reserved. Uh, the no bonds is reserved. Uh, I thought uh, you get your bond uh, by the crime, won't go by the murder. Uh, even the public chief of police said uh, they had the arrest to take him down. But one of the shots fired, he, he, he could have attempted that, don't kill him. One of the shots fired, one of the bullet. Okay. But I respect that they have to do a job, make him right. nice, he's the worst of the earth. But it's criminal rocker, and, and the initial why, that man don't have no rocker. Okay. Period. Thank you for being here, Mr. Brandon. All right, Mr. Spence, is there anything that you want to say about your bond, your court date, or the appointment of an attorney? Please don't discuss any of the allegations, sir. Jeremiah screaming in my head, Jeremiah, I just, I just need help. I want help. That's what I want. Okay. I, I just, I just want help. And it told me that I could talk to somebody, and I just, I just need help. And, okay. And Jeremiah keeps screaming, and I don't want him to come back. I don't want him to come back. So, listen. All right. Thank you, sir. I am going to appoint the public defender to represent you, Mr. Spence. In addition, I'm going to order um, that you have a mental health evaluation prior to your release. So someone will come and talk to you and see if you can, we can get you some help. Today? Um, it should be today. If not, then it'll be tomorrow. Um, just as soon as they're available, they'll be able to speak with you. You're going to have a couple of court dates, the first being December 13th. That's going to be in courtroom 1C to deal with the extradition matter out of Virginia. Am I going back to Virginia? Uh, not at the moment, um, but at some point you probably will. That's something that you can talk to your attorney about. The other matter... Can I talk to my attorney today? Um, probably not today. It'll probably be in the next day or so that you'll speak to your attorney. February the 5th is your next court date for the other matters. It's not a call room. I haven't been able to call anybody. All right, you can talk to the sheriff about that. Also, I am going to require that your bonds currently remain the same. And with regard to the domestic hold, I'm going to set that bond in the amount of $2 million secured. Further, that you're to have no contact. Are they okay? You're not to go on the premises of Smith High School. And you are required to submit to electronic monitoring by the Greensboro Police Department and abide by a curfew of 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. seven days a week. I don't live here. All right. So someone will be able to speak with you to do the mental health evaluation either today or tomorrow, and then your attorney will be over to speak with you in the next day or two if you're unable to make your bond. If you do meet your bond, please don't interrupt, sir. If you do meet your bond, then you'll need to make an appointment with the public defender's office so that you can discuss your case with them. All right? Good luck to you, sir.